I'm Steve from This Up With Cars and in my last video I went through the cars that you can see behind me and I went through and I tried to start all of the cars and they have not been started in a long time and so that is what is called a cold start condition. So today I'd like to continue going down the rows in the collection and cold starting the rest of the cars. The next row I'll be starting with actually begins with this Morris beach car. You have seen this Morris Beach car in a previous video, but I have not gotten around to trying to start it yet. So this car does not start. Next to the Morris Beach car is Barn Sprite number one. Next to Barn Sprite 1 is my TVR 2500M. This car can be hard to start with such a little battery, so I am going to put a jump pack on this one. Next car is my Vixen 2500. Next is my 1960 Austin Healy Sprite. Now my Innocenti 950 Spider. This is my second car. This is my 1966 MG Midget. I have nothing at all from the battery on this one. 
I haven't driven this car on the street in probably 12 years. Oh, there goes the pump. The pump just started going. I'll grab a jump pack and put it on this one. This Mark IV 1969 Sprite is the very first car that I ever bought. This car does have an ultra capacitor as well as a modern stereo in it, so it does stay plugged into the tender all of the time. Next up is my Triumph 1500 powered MG Midget. This one also has a ultra capacitor in it, so it is also plugged into the tender all the time. Now we have another Austin Moke. This car was also a rusted Hulk that was on my shelf once. That's good enough. Next is my Morris Minor pickup that you have seen in previous videos, but I have not featured in a while. It ran when parked. Let's see what happens. The fuel pump is making a lot of noise, so I don't think this runs anymore. It could be that the fuel pump just lost its prime. Hopefully, I'll be able to get back to this truck soon. Next up is the Porsche 914 that you've seen Cassie working on. Now, here's something that you probably didn't know. I actually filmed those videos with Cassie about five years ago, well before I had my channel or any of my videos. And then last in this row, I have an Innocenti Mini. Up next is my Austin Healey 100 BN1.
Next is another one of my Austin Cooper S's. This one has vintage race history. This is my Series 1 Jaguar XJ6 that I have featured in several videos. One of the fuel tanks is out of it right now, but it can still start up and drive. Next is my Elan NP01 Mazda prototype. This is my Zap Edition Datsun 280Z. My Series 2 Lotus Elise. This is my Lectra 2 plus 2 electric car. My International Harvester Travel All. My Ford Bronco I got from Kevin at Junkyard Digs. And last in this group of cars is my faithful off-roader, Popcorn, the Discovery One. And that's the end of part two of me cold starting all the cars in my collection. In the next video, I'll continue down this row, and I think we should be able to finish up in just one more video. If you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.